Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of all Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have May mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth, peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. The gift of the Spirit transforms the disciples of Jesus. From earful men, they become courageous preachers of the good news. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind. And it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were all, all astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parsians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Richa and Pamphylia, Egypt and the district of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in their own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The mm. word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
to him be my theme. I'll be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. Send forth your spirit, their creator, and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The Spirit is the bond of unity. His gifts, therefore, should not lead to division, but to unity and peace in the community. The second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As the body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized in one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the proclamation of the Holy Gospel. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good evening uh, or good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of uh, the Pentecost. 
And uh, what is Pentecost? So after 50 days, after rising from the dead, and Jesus ascended into heaven, now he, the Heavenly Father, sent the Holy Spirit upon the apostles in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, the readings for this uh, Pentecost Sunday, we can extract uh, the theme about uh, celebrating the actions of uh, the Holy Spirit. In our first reading, the Holy Spirit provides vitality, life, power on the apostles and the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is the Lord, the giver of life. When he breathed on the disciples, the disciples receive life. Kapag uh, may buhay, may power, mayroon talagang vitality, no? the person no, receives the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit, the person is lifeless. So in our Christian uh, life, in our Christian faith, this is very important that we have to take care of the Holy Spirit that we have received during our baptism and confirmation. The Holy Spirit is within us. Kapag tayo ay buhay na buhay sa ating pananampalataya, ah, nandyan sa atin ang Espiritu Santo. Yan. Pero kapag ah, ah, kapag parang ah, ano ka, no? wala kang gana, parang ah, ano ka, lifeless, wala kang kabuhay-buhay, ah, ibig sabihin, hmm, parang nawala yung Holy Spirit sa iyo. Kaya mahalaga ho palagi na tayo ay parang ganado tayo sa ating buhay, especially in our spiritual life. Whenever we go to the church, whenever we celebrate the Mass, importante ho na tayo ay buhay na buhay. Kasi ang iba parang natutulog, baka matuluyan, ah, napakahirap. Hindi, hindi nga daw problema yung tayo ay hindi nakakatulog. Ang problemahin natin yung hindi ka magising. Yan. Pero mas maganda, mayroon pa rin tayong tulog na maayos. Ilang oras dapat tayong matulog? Eight hours. No? O kaya kapag iniksian mo yon, para kang ano rin, no? apektado ang other hours mo para sa work at sa, sa mga bagay. No? Now, uh, so, iyan ang isa sa mga actions ng Holy Spirit. No? Uh, giving us the breath of life. Ha? Sa ano yan, sa Hebrew, ang ibig sabihin ng uh, uh, breath of life, ang ibig sabihin ito ay, yung salita ay ruwa. The ruwa of God. Hindi bruha. Ha? Bru, ruwa of God. And also, the Holy Spirit no, uh, provides the disciples that capacity ability no, to speak in different tongues and they understood one another no nung tinanggap nila ang banal na espiritu no uh, yung mga disciples of Jesus no iba-ibang salita pero sila ay nagkaka intindihan. And so, they forge a relationship of communion. They become one community of believers. Kaya, kapag tayo ay napupuspos ng palang spirit and receive the Holy Spirit, makikita mo, kahit ibang salita ay maiintindihan. Yung di, uh, 
yung uh, speaking different tongues. Totoo naman yan. Uh, kaya mahalaga palagi na tayo ay inaalagaan natin yung Espiritu Santo sa buhay natin. Especially in uh, uh, studying and, uh, and uh, reflecting on uh, the Word of uh, God. No? It's very important that we are open to the leadings of uh, the Holy Spirit. We are united. Our minds, our hearts are united by the Spirit of uh, the Lord. Now, uh, uh, St. Paul uh, would say that uh, it's very important that uh, we have to believe that Jesus is the Lord. And uh, we can only profess it if we are filled with the Holy Spirit. By means of uh, the Holy Spirit, we can profess that Jesus is not only an ordinary man, but He is God. He is our Lord. And not only that, no? not only believing on uh, the Lordship of Jesus, but we can profess, we can say our faith, not only keeping the faith in our hearts, but we can profess our faith. And of course, we receive different gifts coming from the Holy Spirit. No? So, makikita natin sa ating uh, assembly yung uh, different uh, gifts received by each one of us. No? So, itong uh, mga proclaimers of the Word of God, we have the choir, at uh, we have the lay ministers. Kayo naman po, kayo ay pagbigay ng donations no? <laughs> sa connection <laughs> kasi kung lahat naman ay ano, wala na magbibigay wala. of course uh, we have uh, different uh, gifts uh, that we receive from the Holy Spirit and uh, this gift should be used not for personal gain but for the common good next year ho pwede na akong mag-retire sa sa uh, military service but uh, I will not retire sa priestly ministry sa service uh, to the church o kaya yung uh, pinag-isipan natin paano ba yung uh, para naman na uh, ano yan para naman na uh, maganda yung fiesta namin no? so, may fiesta kami actually nagbigay ako ng letter love letter sa uh, sister <laughs> ngayon ay eh, Ano yung project? Improvement of the chapel. Pinag-isipan ko yung chapel para nga, ano yan, napabayaan din sapagkat, uh, ano yan, matagal na rin, matagal na rin yung kanyang uh, huling uh, uh, repair o kaya improvement niya. No? At uh, sa enhancement ng chapel, sabi ko sana ito ay maayos na ba? Na mapa-aircon man lamang. <laughs> para maganda yung uh, ano yan ha? pagsisimba ng mga tao no? uh, at nakita ko na kaya naman no? sapagkat uh, kapag nagdasal ka hindi man, malahirap yung project no? uh, kasi gawin mo lang yung part mo at uh, makikita mo kumikilas naman yung mga tao no? at uh, nakumbinsi ko na yung commander mismo ay siya ay uh, maapruba na yan ay kailangan na ng uh, i-enhance yung chapel. No? O ganun, kahit parang mahirap, kako pariper na tayo, inabutan pa tayo ng ganitong uh, project. No? Of course, uh, sa buong uh, armed forces, ang unang inayos na maging air condition na uh, chapel, yung Camp Aguinaldo, ang pangalawa, ay yung nasa Florida Blanca Bas Airway sa Pampanga. Ako yung chaplain doon. Kaya alam ko rin noong 2006 kung paano magpaayos ng chapel. No? At uh, mahirap din. Babantayan mo yan. No? Maraming aasikaso. Pero yan naman po ay uh, physical uh, uh, enhancement ng, uh, ng uh, church. Pero ang pinakamahalaga talaga ang church ay ang mga 
tao kung paano enhance ang mga character ng spiritual life ng mga tao. Kasi minsan, eh, maayos yung church, maayos ang uh, physical structure ng uh, parokya, ng chapel. Pero yung mga tao parang hindi maayos. <laughs> Uh, parang may mga masusungit, parang uh, hindi magaganda yung ugali ng tao. No? Parang wala, walang na-receive na Holy Spirit. No? So, ganyan po. No? Uh, kaya, when we receive, when we have received the Holy Spirit, we will always think for the common good. We are going to use the gifts that we have received in order to uh, support the common good no? of the community, of the church, of our nation. Ganon yan. Of course, the disciples in our gospel reading, uh, they were in a room. And when Jesus appeared before them, no? uh, the disciples were afraid not only for the news, but also maybe for the Lord, whom they have abandoned. No? Uh, di ba? Inabandon nila si Jesus, eh ngayon, nagpakita sa kanila. No? At uh, ganun talaga ang kapag takot ka. No? Uh, makikita mo na hindi lang yung doors ang nakalak, pati na yung puso mo. And it is by the power of the Holy Spirit, it is the work of the Holy Spirit no, to open the doors of our hearts, of our minds, so that we can be effective in uh, sharing in the vision of Jesus. No, kailangan bukas yung ating mga puso, ang ating mga isip. And we have to be open uh, to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, there are, we have to recognize the actions of the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our community, in our church, in our assembly. And uh, we will see that uh, the Holy Spirit no, is always at work. No, and we have to cooperate so that we will also have part in the mission, in uh, the, the furtherance of the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? O, oh, last na lang na kwento. No? Uh, Ganado-ganado tayo mag, after the mass, o, oh, ayan, uh, basketball uh, with uh, yung mga tao doon sa kumpento. Eh, napakasarap po maglaro ng basketball. Ako po eh, kapag malapit sa two points, hindi ko ma-issue. Sa three points, na-issue ko. <laughs> Minsan tataka ko, kung na-issue ko pa yun, uh, of course, wala tayong uh, eyeglasses niyan pag naglalaro. Ngayon po eh, napakaganda ng paglalaro natin. Ngayon sabi ng sa Christian, Father, may naghanap po ng pare. Ah, bakit? Ano, anointing of the sick. Alam nyo, kapag ganyan talaga eh, Ano yan? Hindi ka dapat tatanggi kahit anong oras yan. You can approach any priest. Lalo kapag nasa, ano na, ano parang alang lagay ng pasyente? Eh, mamamatay na daw eh. Tayo naman po ay kahit iniwan natin yung paglaro, kahit parang mahirap, iwanan. <laughs> ah, lalo kapag, uh, ano yung ganadong-ganado ka. So, ganun, no? So, nagmadali tayong magbis at pinuntahan natin. Hindi na natin sakop yun eh. Kasi may kanya-kanya na rin, rin ho kaming teritoryo ang mga, uh, mga paris po sa labas, kahit kami. Uh, of course, ako sa isang kampo, pero ang sakop namin ay buong Luzon, pasta uh, military, no? police, jail, coast guard, sa Bureau of Fire. O yan, ang kanilang uh, mga personal at families, mga kamion, kami ang pare. Uh, pero yung pinuntaan ko, hindi ho siya ano, retired na engineer. Ang nagsundo sa akin ay isang doktor na anak. So, paisa-isa na nga ho yung hininga nung pasyente, 73 years old. Ngayon, sabi ko dun sa doktor, Dok, bakit wala man ng oxygen? 
Sabi niya, tanggap na namin, Father, na talagang aalis na si Daddy. Pero bak- ang alam ko eh, pwede naman bigyan. <laughs> uh, kasi para lumalaban pa. So, inatid na ako sa kumpento. Sabi, sabi ko, o sana ako kayo pupunta. Diretsyo na kay Father sa funeral homes. Kakabuhay pa man. <laughs> Bakit din diretsyo na kayo doon? Huh? Parang gusto ko na tuloy biruin na dumiretsyo na rin kayo sa memorial garden para ayos na rin. Pero buhay pa yung tao. No? At uh, nakakalungkot yung ganun po. No? Na parang uh, ano yan, yung buhay ay patay na. No? Uh, pero yung tayo, no, uh, kapag tayo ay napupuspos ng bal na espiritu, no, we have to do our work, our ministry, our mission. Kahit na ano pa ang ginagawa natin, may higher priority yung ating mission. No? Iwanan mo yung panunood mo ng basketball o naglalaro ka, kahit na para, sino bang nanalo kanina? <laughs> ha? ha? O kaya nga eh, kanina eh, parang ayaw kong iwanan eh, meron din akong kailangan gawin. Kaya hindi ko napanood yung last quarter eh. Pero ganun din po. No? So if we are filled with the Holy Spirit, then we have to do our mission, our work. Especially if it is for the Lord. Amen? Please uh, rise. I believe. I believe in, in God. God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Filled with Paschal joy, let us pray earnestly to the Father that He who graciously bestowed the Holy Spirit on the apostles may now send upon us the same Spirit to fill our hearts with truth and charity. We pray. Through the, the power, power of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, listen to, to us, O Lord. Lord. For the shepherds of our souls, may they have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by God, by listening intently to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, May they always seek guidance and inspiration from the Holy Spirit, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. For those who suffer from isolation and sickness, may they be strengthened by our love for them as brothers and sisters, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. For missionaries and workers of evangelization, May the fire of the Holy Spirit embolden them to preach the gospel wherever they are, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, may God welcome them into the light of his face, we pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intentions and all intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, listen to us, O Lord. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We will now have the offering of the bread and wine, symbols of the fruit and of our hard-earned labor of the week. Please join in singing of the offertory songs. Spirit, Holy Spirit. 
pray that my uh, sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and this just. It is truly right and just our truth and our salvation always and everywhere. To give this thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them into your only begotten Son. The same Spirit as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please you me. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when uh, supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Mali Hubert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
the Xavier is commanded formed by divine teaching. Did they hear to say? Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With uh, a smile, we offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please be here. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be glad. For orderly communion, please be seated and wait for the ushers to guide you.
please rise. Let us pray. Oh God, we bestow heavenly gifts upon your church. Safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Please don't go yet after the Mass. We are down to the fourth episode of our series, Acts. God is still worthy today. Progress. And God's one big message for us in this talk is you need a Savior. Talk 4 is about how we move forward toward the final destination of our spiritual journey to be perfect. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Let your children experience learning while having fun. And trust them to the kids' ministry while you listen to our talk right after the Mass. Please look for Liz, Jang, or Trishan at the reception area outside this venue. And let us all thank Father Rex Armenia for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, the Father of lights, who has peace and enlightened the disciples' minds by the outpouring of the Spirit, the Paraclet, grant you gladness by his blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, man.
worship the Lord. I want to invite everyone to stand up. Come on, we're going to give him our best. And sometimes our best is just letting go and just surrendering everything to the Lord. So give him all you've got today. Close my eyes and colors fly. There's no hiding from your grace. I can't deny your heart for mine. And it's unrelenting chase. I was on the edge of deception. Caught up in my own hesitation. Until your love took over me. Come on, sing. So I Worship our Lord. Just let go of everything. You may be feeling broken. You may be desperate for anything, for love, for affection. You may be drowning in problems. But let God remind you that His perfect love is always renewed every day. His love never fails. His love is always energetic, full of surprises. And 
Let us be open. Forget everything. Forget your problems. Forget our desperations. And let's just focus our mind, our heart to the love of God that always renew, always restoring, never powerful love of God. And as we sing this, Lord, fill us. Send your Holy Spirit here, Lord. Make us feel your love. Make us feel your presence, Lord. And as we sing this, Lord, remind us that you are always here by our side. Never letting go. Always holding us. Always ready to restore us. Ready to renew us. this the oh, father you make all things new you make all things new yesterday
that it's e it's Pentecost it's we're celebrating when they we're on the eve of Pentecost Sunday and as we know Pentecost is the time when the Holy Spirit came down upon the church for the first time that's why we call Pentecost Sunday the birthday of the church so say happy birthday to each and everyone happy birthday it's our birthday today and I just want you to open your spirit in a special way to the working of the Holy Spirit. Because for the first time, when the Holy Spirit came down, gugulohin ko ba yung buhay ng mga VM dyan? Mababalik nyo ba yung picture nung, that we had here during Mass? Yung backdrop kanina? Yeah, ayan na, nandiyan na. This is, this is a, I don't know who's painting, one of the masters of um, Pentecost Sunday. And if you will see, there are tongues of fire coming down. We've been talking about this, diba? Right? This is what we've been talking about here in this, the series of Acts. And that's Mama Mary. I, from back there, I was thinking, wow, she kind of looks like a superhero. Parang, parang malapit na siya maging Wonder Woman. Alam niyo? But this picture, you know, if you could just appreciate, just put together what we've been going through in this series, in the book of Acts, this, this is you and me. This is us receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. The, Holy, the, the power that they received here is the same power that rests on each of us. The same power that made the coward Peter the brave preacher that converted thousands in a day that power rests in each and every one of us but sometimes you know if we if we're not aware of it if we don't use it nasa santa bisha para tayong superhero na hindi natin nagagamit yung strength natin so this pentecost sunday let's just on this eve of Pentecost Sunday, let's just appreciate the gift that the Father and Jesus has given in, to each of us as believers. It's a power beyond what, we, what we're capable of. It's a power beyond our human powers. It's a supernatural power, and we have it in each of us. So I want you to just close your eyes and you know, put your hand on your chest and just think about this. Think about the power of the Spirit resting in you. And if you've not experienced that power, all the more I want you to think and pray and ask. Because Jesus said He will not deny anyone who asks for the gift of the Spirit. Father, we pray, outpour your Spirit upon us again. Isang beses pa, Lord. Isang beses ulit. Touch our hearts. For those of us who've been baptized and been confirmed in the sacrament, we've received the power of the Holy Spirit. And yet, because of ignorance, because of just not 
knowing what we receive, Lord, we've ignored this, pa this power, this gift. We pray, release it now, Lord. Release it now in our lives so that we may bear fruit the way you want us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And God's people said amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. And we're going to be, we're concluding our series called Acts. And um, we've been going through, it's been a four-week journey through the book of Acts. And we're ending with uh, uh, our fourth talk is entitled Progress. And uh, are we going to sing Thy Word? I forgot my Bible. I so, hi, <laughs> welcome me back. And, <laughs> I'm I'm out of my element. I, I wasn't here last week. We had a fantastic jewels conference. So those who were there, can you just make some noise? Yay! Anyway, let's let's pray our favorite prayer at the feast. Together we pray. Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. To pro today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. And we honor God's word as we sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Our one big message in our final talk in the Act series is you need a Savior. Can you tell that to the person beside you? You need a savior. And our passage is from the book of uh, the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew 5, 48. Can we read it together? Be perfect. You know, whenever I read this passage, nakakaalangan siya. Nakaka, di ba? Parang, pa paano ka naman magiging perfect kagaya ni Lord, di ba? How can you? I can't even be perfect like Bo, you know? I can't even be as kind as Bo or, you know, as dedicated as Randy. And yet, God, woo, talaga. Or these, these music ministers here, let's give them a, a clap offering. <laughs> Nagpa-practice yan every week, di ba? And so much more. So, the, the, the thing about this passage is, it's just that. We can't do it on our own. That's why we need a Savior. That's why we need a Savior. You know, um, uh, there's a, a story that I read about an, uh, an artist and a beggar. And this artist wanted to paint um, a portrait of the prodigal son. So this artist went out uh, and he went to the, you know, he went to the mental hospital. He couldn't find somebody na peg nung uh, prodigal son. He went to the squatter's area. He couldn't find any. He went all over walking the streets and looking for somebody who would represent the prodigal son until he found this beggar, this dirty, ragged, you know, grasang tao beggar. And he just saw Uy, ganito siguro yung itsura ng prodigal son. So, kinontrata niya. So, he talked to this beggar and he said, On this day, I will give you, I will pay you to show up at my studio and you're gonna be my model. So, obviously, this, this beggar was so, was, was, um, you know, was flattered. And on the day that uh, they agreed on, he did show up at the studio and the, the artist was saying, Who are you? I don't know you. He said, you told me to come on this day, on this hour. You said you're going to paint me. And he said, no, I'm expecting a beggar. Si yung beggar, aba, nag-shave, nag naligo, you know, nagbihis ng maganda. And he said, no, I don't recognize you. I wanted you to come as you are. You know, sometimes we're like that with God. We think we can come before God 
and impress and become worthy. That word, worthy. Diba? We think we can become worthy to come before God, to serve Him by putting on our own clothes of righteousness, by our own effort, by our own, you know, uh, loving Him and our own, you know, com- brand of commitment. That's not what God wants from us. Because no matter how hard we try, we can never reach that perfection that the Father asks of us. We have to come before Him clothed in the righteousness of Jesus. Because He's the only one who can make us worthy. Amen? And that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. You know, God wants, He wants us to come as we are. But He wants us also to change totally. He wants us to change totally. We have to come before God naked. Naked with our sins, with our brokenness. And let Him fix us. His change will be total but at the same time it will be gradual say gradual you know we, that that's our that that's where we make a mistake you know when we talk about saint paul diba when we when we talk about a pauline conversion ano ibig sabihin ng pauline conversion wow grabe from a really um, bad you know persecuting the christians killing the christians biglang wow grabe siya na yung sobrang proclaiming the word of god it's a 180 degree turn, di ba? Yung mga magagaling sa math. 180 degree turn. Hindi 360 degrees kasi pag 360 degrees, you're back where you started. St. Paul's conversion was 180 degree. Talagang opposite. And when we read it in the Bible, we think, grabe, he went from here to there overnight. Hindi pala. Ang ibig sabihin ng Pauline conversion, he was changed completely. He was changed totally, but hey, it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen in a week. It didn't even happen in a year. And so sometimes, we look at ourselves and we say, bakit ganito? 2007 pa ako nasa feast. but hanggang ngayon ganito pa rin ako? But hindi pa rin ako, but hindi ko pa rin nafe-feel yung, you know, love ni Lord. But hindi pa rin ako mabait. Bakit hindi pa rin ako holy? Kasi yung change is total, but it takes time. It's gradual. Why total? Why total? Because God wants us to be like Him. Hindi yung bumait ka lang ng konte, di ba? Or uh, naging mas banal ka lang ng konte. Imagine yung, yung, if you're a drug addict and your change is not total, you'll say, ah, okay, from taking shabu three times a day, ah, okay, my goal is to just take shabu once a week. Will that work? No. Di ba? Or if you say you're a wife beater, I say, again, my change will be, you know, I, I, I beat my wife every week. Uh, once a month na lang ako mambubugbog ng asawa. Is that the change that God wants from us? No, God wants us to, ch- to change us totally. But the time frame, it takes time. God is never in a hurry. God is never in a hurry. Tayo lang ang impatient. Diba? Kasi palagi tayong may relo. Palagi tayong nakatingin sa relo. The other Saturday, one Saturday, I went to our radio program on um, DZMM. Paghugas ko ng kamay ko, I was wearing long sleeves. Paghugas ko ng kamay ko, ay, dalawang relo suot ko on one hand. Kalain mo, hindi ko naramdaman. I put on two watches. <laughs> ano ba? Sa edad na ba yun, <laughs> And there was, a, there was a cleaning lady in the bathroom. And when she saw I had two watches, I said, ah! I said, Dal- nahiya naman ako. Sige, ay, dalawang rilo na suot ko. Sabi niya, ay ma'am, hindi, hindi po kayo malilate niyan. <laughs> Sabi niya sa, pero ba't gano'n nalilate pa rin ako? Sabi ko sa kanya. Tayo lang naman ang impatient eh. But God is never in a hurry. Yung mga instant, you know, I always say the test of true change is always time. It's always time. It's always the long, the long haul. Are you in it for the long haul? Kahit na, Di, ngayon, 
everything is instant. ba? Diba? Ako ayo, I don't like my coffee instant. If you see me do my coffee, talagang, sometimes I say, why, why am I punishing myself over a cup? Ang dami kong hinuhugasan para sa isang cup of coffee, samantalang may three in one naman. ba? Diba? Kahit na relationships ngayon, grabe, instant. Mag-text na lang, gan- ganun na lang pala ang ligawan ngayon. Tayo na, te-text yung guy, tapos sasagot yung girl, K, one letter lang, tapos sila na, ganun. Talaga, but will that last? Di ba? So, you know, sometimes, maririnig pa natin yung mga iba, oh, ikaw pa, feast-feast ka pa, hindi ka naman nagbabago, sama pa rin ng ugali. Ikaw, araw-araw ka pa naman nagsisimba, tapos ang sungit-sungit mo pa rin. Di ba? Ako ang sagot ko doon, umanda ka, kundi ako magsimba araw-araw. Mas grabe ako. <laughs> di ba? Nagsisimba na nga ako araw-araw, ganito pa ako eh. Paano kung di pa? Imagine mo kung di pa ako nagpe-feast? We have to be more patient with ourselves. We have to aim for progress, not for perfection. God is the one who will perfect us. And the reason why we come, amen, the reason why we come here, the reason why we go to church is because we need the Savior. I need the Savior so badly. I need the Lord so badly. Sometimes, you know, I would I would talk to my, my friends or my sisters and I would say, Ano kaya? How do people without God cope? Kasi tayong may Diyos na, nahihirapan pa tayo. Paano ba yung ikaw na lang? Wala kang asahan na Diyos sa langit. Di ba? And if if you look at the, the the Bible in the book of Acts and and in the epistles of Paul, Paul's conversion was not overnight. It was not overnight. It it seemed to have happened overnight. Diba? He saw a flash of light and he was blinded and he went. And But you know what? If you, if you read the entire Bible, God didn't cook up St. Paul in a microwave. Minsan, I have to admit that's the easiest way to cook food <laughs> or to heat food. Hanggang dyan lang ang cooking skills ko. Hanggang microwave oven lang. But that's not how God, that's not how God prepares his servants. That's not, that's not how God transforms us. Gusto niya yung, na-order niyo na ba yung roast beef? Ano yung 12-hour roast beef? Di ba? Slow cook talaga. Di ba? That's how God does it. He simmers us and He doesn't change us in days but in decades. He doesn't change us in days but in decades. Um, let, let's go to Acts 9. Look at this. Look at this um, verse in Acts 9. It says, um, Paul began to preach in the synagogues that um, Jesus is the Son of God. This was after his conversion. What did he do? He just started talking about his experience with Jesus. And that, that's what God asks of us at the beginning. Hindi pa tayo marunong mag-testify, hindi pa tayo marunong mag ng worship, hindi pa tayo marunong mag-preach. But just tell other people about your experience of the Lord. That's already serving God. So Paul starts just by telling people his experience. And then in Galatians 1 verse 17, we read, I went into Arabia. This is St. Paul writing. He said, I went into Arabia. Later, I returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem. So there was three years that Paul was, uh, when, when he said Arabia, that's not Saudi Arabia. It's a desert. Um, and if you go to that place, you know, where Paul was and in Damascus, there were no huge churches there were not many churches that Paul planted there. He didn't do missionary work in those places. So what happened in the three years that he was there? It was an internal, it was an internal work. You see, Paul was a Pharisee. He read, he knew scripture as a Pharisee. And probably in those three years, this is what Bible scholars think, in those three years, Paul had to unlearn everything he knew. As, kakagulat ka na ba? <laughs> Patapos na ako! <laughs> he had to unlearn all that he knew as a Pharisee and he had to relearn scripture and reading it from the lens 
of Jesus. He had to study it again. This time with Jesus in mind. And then he went and he became the disciple to the Gentiles. It wasn't an overnight work. So God won't change us also overnight, but over our lifetime. Amen? Does that just set you free? You know, sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. Sometimes we think we have to be this, this, this by the time I'm this age and this age and this age. But God is, God always looks at the big picture. And He will change us. He is changing us. Say this with me. God is changing me. God is changing me. The Holy Spirit empowers me. And the Holy Spirit is working in me so that I will be transformed from glory to glory until I see Jesus face to face. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, worship team. Please be seated. One of the wonderful things, um, one of the things that uh, we, we were able to observe and see up front um, is, uh, was the, this sculpture of Michelangelo. Um, he, he sculpted David. You, how many of you know that? Diba meron siyang ginawa, meron siyang sculpture, um, David. And uh, it's, uh, it's it, for me, it's one of his masterpieces. And in fact, it's uh, in the museum in Florence. And we were able to see it up close. Ang galing, ang galing. Because... Uh, he, his style was the style that Michelangelo used. Actually, he started it. He, um, he, he this thing that they call mannerism. Yung yung normal na tayo ng tao, and then he just did that. How, are you familiar with that? Hello. Yes. Hindi <laughs> nila alam. <laughs> si David. Basta ano yun, eh, naka, si David nakahubad siya ang galeng. But palagi kong ginagaya yun nakaganon siya. <laughs> and and he was asked because it's such a masterpiece it's a really nice sculpture he was asked what were you thinking when you did that how did you do that and you know interesting um, what, what he said he said I thought of David in front of this block of marble and I just removed everything that is not David he just removed everything that is not David and I'd, I'd liken that to the way God deals with us. Risa started it and she said, God is never in a hurry. You can never do a sculpture like that with so much, you, you know, precision, um, very detailed up to, up, to the, uh, up to the centimeter. You, you cannot do that if you're in a hurry. And, and with us, God is never in a hurry. And, and I think if you're going through trials, how many of you are going through trials? Ah, if you're going through trials and struggles and challenges, don't despair. It's, it's God's way of removing everything that's not Randy. Removing everything that's not Robert. Removing everything that's not girly. I'm going to share with you three things, three reasons why God doesn't use the microwave. <laughs> you know, God is a good cook. 
and three reasons why um, God doesn't use microwave. I say microwave is convenient. Amen? Amen. Diba? Pop in. Ngayon, ngayon you have, ano, you have uh, cakes that you just put water and throw in the microwave oven and it's uh, voila, cake na siya. And uh, you have, uh, you can cook. I discovered this in a, in, in, in a friend's house. They cook their rice in the microwave oven. They have this microwavable uh, plastic. You put the rice, pasok mo siya. After a while, wow, microwave na siya. Um, kanin na siya. Um, <laughs> uh, it's convenient, right? But sometimes convenient is not necessarily good. Convenient is not necessarily yummy. If you try the rice that's cooked in my in a microwave oven, it's different from the rice na na iniluto ng dahan-dahan tapos pagbukas mo, yung uusok na ganyan, tapos maaamoy mo yung amoy bigas. 'Di ba? Ang sarap kainin, lalagyan mo ng sabaw, kakainin mo sa umaga. And you, you scrambled eggs, you can cook scrambled eggs in the microwave, but it's not necessarily good. Convenient is not always good. It's convenient but it's not as good as the real thing. Now, three things why God never uses a microwave oven. Number one, because he wants us to trust. Trust. Say trust. trust. God wants us to go through the process so that we will see and discover that there are a lot of things that we cannot do. And if we realize that we cannot do a lot of things, then we will rely on Him. Trust in Him with all of your heart. On your own understanding, lean not. So God wants us to trust Him. For um, if, if sometimes you, you become good at something, diba? when, you, when you know that you're good at something, um, sometimes, uh, sometimes it's not uh, it's not easy to trust other people because alam mo na mas magaling ka sa kanila, eh. right? Right? So if you're an expert and if you're a consultant, you 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 don't listen to just anyone because you're the expert. And if you know that you have limitations, then that's a time to know that you can you have to rely on someone. I in, in the organization or here in the feast, I may not be I may not be the best person, and I say that I, I am not the best person here. I'm just the leader. I may be the most handsome, but <laughs> liar. <laughs> Are you with me? So so God wants us to trust Him, okay? Trust. What does it mean to trust? That means that. You are counting on someone. That's why you always have to remember that we need the Savior. That after everything, after doing everything, you go to you go to the quiet place, to a quiet place. You go to your room and you pray, Lord, bahala ka na. Lord, bahala ka na. And God allows us to go through that process because every time you trust God and you see the fruit of that trust. It gives you the resolve to trust God even more. So the more you trust, the more you know that you have to trust. And if you don't go through that process, then you will not learn. Okay? It will be harder for you to trust God. When was the last time you trusted God for provision? When was the last time you trusted God for a relationship healing? When was the last time you trusted God for, um, for a business opportunity? Sabi nila, it, it, it has to be the only thing that you're holding on to. All right? So God wants us to trust. Okay, number two, God doesn't use microwave ovens because He wants us to have compassion. He wants us to have compassion. Because when we go through the process and when we allow ourselves to be wounded and healed by God, then we develop scars. Ano yung scars sa Tagalog? Peklat. peklat. So, if you develop peklat, it reminds you of something, right? It reminds you of, of a wound or an imperfection 
that you have, pwera na lang if you put Cebu de Macho. <laughs> Sino gumagamit ng Cebu de Macho dito? <laughs> when I was little, my, my, my lola would give us Cebu de Macho para hindi daw magpeklat. But, when you get wounded, when you, God allows you to go through the process and you get wounded and you get healed, you have a remembrance of a trial. You have a remembrance of a struggle. You have a remembrance of a weakness. And when you see that weakness, you become more compassionate to people who have the same weakness. You have more compassion and you're more patient. You're more compassionate. You're more forgiving. You're more tolerant. Because you know and you underwent that struggle. Kunyari, it's a relationship problem. You can, you'll be able to say, Okay, I know how it feels. I, I know how it feels. And you become more compassionate. And because you, you become more compassionate, the person feels more love and the person doesn't feel judged. Because if you go through an express lane and you don't go through the microwave, uh, if you go through a microwave oven, you, you'll, you have this tendency to judge. You can sit, we can sit as judges over the wounded people or we can stand as wounded healers beside them. It's easy to judge. It's easy to judge. Nakita mo, biglang ang ganda ng suot niya. Tapos three weeks, sunod-sunod sa feast, ang gaganda ng suot niya. It's easy to judge. Wow, mayaman naging boyfriend niya. <laughs> diba? Hindi mo alam pinaghirapan niya yun or hiniram niya yun. You, you don't really know. Because 90% of what you're thinking is always wrong. 90% of what you're thinking is always wrong. Diba? Magulo lang yung buhok niya. Mahangin siguro sa labas. I mean, it's easy. It's very easy for us to judge. And the scripture reminds us in Matthew 7 verse 1, it says, do not judge. Do not judge or you too will be judged. Diba? You, you, you know the famous, the famous line, don't judge a book because you're not a judge. Diba? <laughs> God wants you to have compassion. It's easier to be a wounded, to become a wounded healer when you understand. When you understand. Pag pinagdaanan mo. If you lose someone, if you lose someone, someone close to you dies, you become more understanding to people who have lost loved ones. You, whereas before, when you go to a funeral, you, you say, Rejoice! I, I know that because my mom would do that. <laughs> and and our, my toes would curl every time she'd do that. Pagpasok, rejoice! She's in heaven already. You know, and, and I, I tended to side with her and I, I agreed with her that when someone dies, yeah, she, she, you know that she's in heaven, she's good, you know. But kay yak. But when my dad died, tapos may lalapit say, rejoice! Sagot ko, mimi, mimi. <laughs> Di ba? People will come to me when my dad died. Brother, sorry ha. Sorry for your loss. Sabi ko, don't worry. It's not your fault. He just, he just didn't wake up. <laughs> Brother, condolence. Sabi ko, same to you. <laughs> but when, 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 I, when we experience a death in the family, now we know. And, and when, you, when, you, when you see someone or you try to condole with someone, don't ask them, oh, kumusta ka na? <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the worst question that you can ask. Yung pagkita mong ganyan. Oh, kumusta ka na? Ito na nga namatay yan eh. Palit kaya tayo. <laughs> Just stay there. Hug. Be there to listen. Ask how you can help. Okay? Side kwento yan, ha? side tip. Kung may pupunta kayong patay mamaya, tahimik lang. Hi, hello. And listen. Alright? You become more compassionate when God allows you to go through the process. And number three, God wants us to have humility. He 
wants us to have humility. Because when you experience hardships, you know and you're more connected or you're more um, in tune with reality. That, that life is not, it's not a bed of roses. That life, that sometimes we perceive life to be parang easy lang. Yeah, yeah we, you, you hear us saying sometimes that the Christian life is easy. We're saying that it's easy because you have God with you. Remember that promise? Come to me all your heavily uh, laden. Come to me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you follow God's will, it will be easier, but it's also hard. I love, that's what I love, contradictions in the Bible. It's easy and it's hard at the same time, but God wants us to be humble. In the conversion of Paul, God wanted him to be humble. God struck him down and he became blind. And for three days, someone as powerful as Saul, he had armies and he had the power to to persecute Christians suddenly helpless because he couldn't, he couldn't see anything. And what did God say? Go into the town, go to the town and, and wait for instructions. For someone who was giving instructions, do you realize how hard it is for him, it was for him to, to, to obey and follow instructions? God wanted him to be humble and God wants us to be humble. Because he humbles the proud and he exalts the humble. And um, we, we know that every time you have a, trans, a, a conversion in the Bible, when you get a get God encounter or a Jesus encounter, your name changes. Abraham becomes Abraham. I became Abraham. Abraham. Jacob became Israel. Simon became Peter. Now Saul, it became Paul. Okay, but it was not, according to some scholars, it was not instant. It, he was called Saul because he, he was Hebrew. Okay, but he was also Roman. So the, in Rome, in, 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 when you're a Roman, his Roman name was Paul. Okay, and if you try to look for the meaning of Paul, it, it comes from the root word polos. Polos meaning small. So you have Saul who was a persecutor of Christians and then he, was, he started, um, they started calling him Paul and this was to remind him of something because during the, those times, the, your, your name reminded you of something. Your name had something to do with character. The meaning of your name had something to do with your history. Okay, So it was polos, Paul meaning small. And um, this was confirmed when, when Paul himself said in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9, For I am the least of all the apostles. Of all the apostles of Jesus, Paul considered himself the least. And, and look at the humility. Look at the humility for someone who had an army. Because of the transformation, because as Risa mentioned, it took him years. Nung three years siyang nasa Jerusalem, yung sinabi niya na he went to Arabia, and then he went to, uh, he went to Damascus, and then Jerusalem. Um, he, he was there for three years. Uh, um, scholars believe that he was studying under Gamaliel. And he was studying, and you have to be humble when you study. Because you have to be humble enough to say that I need learning, I need to learn something, please teach me. And he said that he's the least of all the apostles. In, in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 8, he confirms this again by saying, though I am dilang apostles, ito na, though I am the very least of all the saints. So God wants us to be humble. So he wants us to trust him. He wants us to be compassionate. And he wants us to be humble. We have to go through the, the crucible of humiliation. Cyrax says. So if you're going through trial, if you're going through struggle, it's God taking, taking away the parts that are not you. Last night, I had a conversation with my son. And you know, my son's eight years old and he's beginning to have 
You know, I have, I really have a sneaking suspicion that he's actually 28. <laughs> and uh, I had a conver conversation with him because um, the other day, so, diba, kids, mom, dads, you, you, you fight, you argue, and uh, I, 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 I heard them arguing, uh, him arguing with his mom, and uh, I told him la the, the, la the last time, you know what, Zicky, if you're going to treat mom like that, I, and, you know, we're a family, but, but if you're going to treat mom like that, then maybe I should ask mom to take a vacation so that you'll not be too familiar with mommy, and um, let's, let's ask mommy not to be part of the family anymore. And of course, he said, no, 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 no. So anyway, so yesterday, last night, when I came home, nag na naman sila. And uh, at the moment I w stepped into the room, I heard him saying, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I couldn't see where he was. <laughs> but the moment I stepped in, <laughs> I heard him, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And apparently, so they, 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 you know, they had an argument. And he said, he, he came to me and he said, Dad, remember the other day when you said that mom won't be part of the family anymore? Sabi ko, yeah, yes, I remember that. You know what? I think, um, I think we need to change that. What do you mean? Um, if there's anyone who won't be part of the family, let it be me. <laughs> and I said, why? Because I do the bad things. And I'm always bad. And it's always my fault. <laughs> so I could see, I could, you know, I could smell drama. And I, I, <laughs> I, I put him on my lap and I said, you know what, Ziki, when you do bad things, that's not you. That's not you. That's not the Ziki that I know. Because the Ziki that I know is good. And when you do bad things, yes, you do bad things. But don't let that define who you are. And, you know, we talk like that in the house, um, you know, philosophy. I, I, you know, I quote him scriptures. And uh, well, why am I saying that? Because sometimes when we go through trials, our perspective changes. And here's, here's the good news. Our perspective will never equal reality. Our perspective changes. We see ourselves suffering and we think that, yeah, you know, we're not as special as, you know, we're not as loved as we should be and all these things. But I, I'm telling you, your perception will never equal your reality. Because what's reality? You're all children of God. Your perception is you're a sinner, like my son, because I always do the bad things. And, uh, but that's not really true because God made us good when he made us. In crea during creation, he stopped and he said, it was very good. We were very good. The, all the other creations, God saw and said it was good. But when it came to man, he said, very good. And, and uh, because of our perception, sometimes because we have a distorted perception, then um, it, it's very hard for us sometimes to be humble. They'll make connection, yeah, because you become defensive. You, are, are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? You become defensive and pride is, you, you, you develop pride. You don't want to accept. You don't want to admit that you're wrong, etc., etc. Um, so that's when problems happen, when we're not humble. When we're not humble. Persecution um, happens when... There's a horrendous lack of humility. I'll give you an example. There was a time in our life, Risa and myself, we were growing up and we were serving the Lord together. And honestly, me, there was a time when I thought that our community, that we were the best in the world. I mean, you know, we were the holiest. Like, like. When, when, when God comes and God calls us to be with Him, yung parang kami yung mauuna sa pila. <laughs> and then we will look back and we will look at all our relatives and all our friends and I will look back at you. Uh, <laughs> and and I, I used to believe that that we were, because we were required to read 10 chapters a day in the Bible, we were required to pray one hour a day and then we, we read spiritual books, and then when we talked, we did not talk about 
idle talk. We, we didn't do that. We did not talk about show business. We did not talk about all these, you know, black pink uh, controversy, <laughs> mga blinks. Um, we, we were talking about scripture. Grabe, the Lord spoke to me this morning. You know, the verse in Hebrews where it says that God's word is like a sword. It cuts through every bone and marrow. Ganun kami mag-usap ni Risa. Um, holy talaga eh. Um, <laughs> the problem at that time was we, because we thought we were very holy, actually, sinusundan ko lang naman siya. Siya lang naman. <laughs> because we thought we were holy, we looked down at people and we judged them. And, 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 naaw, this is, this is how I felt. Naawa ako sa kapamilya ko na hindi sumasama or hindi ginagawa yung ginagawa namin. And in my mind and in my prayer, I pray, Lord God, wag mo muna sila kunin tonight kasi hindi pa sila handa. Because they're going to hell. <laughs> That's the problem. That's when, when, when conflict arises. So if, if, if I'm talking about a religion, and a lot of conflicts started with religious beliefs, okay? Because they tried to change other people. They tried to, they looked down at people and they destroyed people because they did not share the same belief. So that's what happens. If you're not humble and you think that you are the best, there will be persecution. That's how persecution started. Um, Sometimes we think that we've got God all figured out. But according to my professor in college, he said, the more you know, the more you know, how little you know. <laughs> God can, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot fully understand the things that are of God. God can't fit in our puny brains. Look at the person to your right, sabihin mo, hindi kasha. <laughs> sabihin mo, hindi kasha. When Paul was persecuting Christians, he had pure motives, I believe. When Hitler, they, when he was executing the Jews, he had motives and he had, for him, it was a pure motive. But, but here's the news, having pure motives isn't enough. It isn't enough. That's why you don't go through microwave. You go through the long process. Slow cook, crock pot. Mas masarap yung 14 hours ni luto. That's why we should always remind ourselves that we need a Savior. That's our one big message. We need a Savior. Our minds need a Savior. And I'm, I'm not saying that we shouldn't fight for our convictions, okay? I think we need to have heroes. We need heroes who will fight for their conviction and who will make, who will fight for what is right and, uh, and, 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 and fight until they, they um, until they, they, uh, they win in the battle. We need heroes like that, all right? But uh, sometimes we confuse being heroes and sacrifices Heroes, look, heroes sacrifice themselves, okay, not others. If you're a real hero, there will be sacrifices that you will go through, and that's real heroism. But if you're a hero and you let other people suffer <laughs> because of your conviction, that's not real heroism, okay? Because ultimately, every law... Every law is subservient to love. Our goal is to, is to do everything in love. Amen? To do everything in love. When you learn to trust God and when you're compassionate and when you're humble, you start to do things in love. And this is exactly what God wants us to do. Amen? Can I ask you to stand? Pagtayo mo, sabi mo sa katabi mo, you need the Savior. I have one last kwento. Okay lang? I have one last chismis. <laughs> it's about me. I am Iron Man. 
<laughs> Have you ever been in a situation where you, you really think na ito na yun, ito ni sagot ni Lord for me? Whatever it is, whether it's a business deal or a, 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 an office that you will work in, but you're almost sure, you know, you're, you've been praying and then ganyan na. Um, uh, I experienced that many, many years ago. Um, I thought, okay, ito ah. So I prayed, I prayed for my state of life, okay? And uh, I got this word, I shared this with you before, I got this word in scripture, nakalagay. I went to the Bible and I saw, the, the word said, give your, I was asking, Lord, do, do I get married or will I be single for life? Or will I be a priest? Um, will, 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 will I be king? <laughs> So, <laughs> tinanong ko, um, and, and I got these words, sabi, give your love to a woman. Oh, ano yung sabihin nun? Huh? So, I'm, get, I'm, I'm gonna get married. So, I get, yes, Lord. Now, who will I get, who will I get married to? I, 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 if you're single, it's good for you to do this. I ask for, Lord, give me characteristics. Okay? So, I got the characteristics of Queen Esther. Stately, she had the winsome regard for authority, long hair, and ganyan. Di ba? So I had, okay, I have this. And then, and then, um, I thought, okay, sabi ko, wow, okay. And then there was this girl that I liked. So sabi ko, easy, yan na yun, Lord. And um, to me, yan na yun. You know, parang every time, you know, you, you know how it feels. Pag may crush ka, may ano, you, every time you, you look at her, parang bumubukas yung, bumubukas yung langit, boom, lalabas yung, uh, yung choirs of angels. Hallelujah! 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 <laughs> and I thought she was it. And, uh, and you, you know, and I started to believe God, thank God, and ganyan. So I worked at it only, only to find out that, uh, you know, someone told me, now she's not for you, and I was broken-hearted, and, uh, di ba? Um, because, because ano eh? Pag tinatanong oh, Randy, how come you're not? You don't have a boy, a gr- you don't have a girlfriend. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend, and and I, I tell them, you know, kasi choose ako eh, <laughs> And, and then, ito na. So, sabi, she's not for you. So, sabi ko, well, choosy ako. Sabi ko, eh, ba't hindi na kami? Sabi niya, eh, kasi choosy siya eh. <laughs> so, hindi pala. But anyway, <clears throat> for, for about 28 years, I was down. <laughs> no, I was broken hearted. Hindi naman 28. For, for a long time. And then, I realized something. Promise, may puputu- patutungan tong kwentong ka. <laughs> I, I, and then I realized one thing. One time I was in prayer. I said, Lord, I remember that prayer I said when I attended my first prayer meeting. A prayer that the preacher said that I also adopted. I remember that night when the preacher said that he prayed. Sabi niya, Lord, there's nothing that you will ask of me that I will not give. And then at that time, that night, I said, Lord, I remember that prayer. Oh, sige. If hindi talaga siya, then your will be done. And then I realized that kung in my mind that she was the best person for me, that for me, every little thing she does is magic. <laughs> if for me, everything she does is, you know, talagang wow, Lord, yan na. And this got me excited. I said, wow, if you're telling me that she's not the one, and I thought she's perfect, God, I'm excited about the one. Because I'm sure that this one will be a lot of times better than her. And, and true enough, I, I, I got married. I, 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 I met this Many years after, I met this woman, and then she's now my wife. And I realized she also had the characteristics of Esther. And, uh, you know, I, 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 
when I see her, the heavens open and the choirs of angels, you know, they just don't sing hallelujah, they dance. They dance. <laughs> they, <laughs> they dance. Um, <laughs> why am I sharing that with you? Because maybe you're going through something. Maybe you're praying for something and you and, and and in your heart you know that ito na yun, ito na yun, and then it doesn't work out. So instead of instead of rejoicing, you're now desperate. You're 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 now in despair, you're now discouraged. I'm telling you, God allows us to go through the crock pot, the long way, the process. God is more interested not in your comfort but in your character. That when you go through the long way, not the microwave oven, that God will give you His best. That when you're weak, you can still trust God. To go to God. I, I, just, I just, you know, read in Scripture about, uh, about I'll, I'll read that verse and I'll leave, it, I'll leave you with that. It's, When you feel that parang you're too weak and you, you, you just don't want to approach God, the throne of God in confidence, Isaiah 42 verse 3, it talks about the character of Jesus. And, and I just love this Jesus, this God that we have because, because He's a gentle God, because He is a God who loves us so much. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Isaiah 42 verse 3, it says, A bruised reed he will not break, and the dimly burning wick he will not quench. Maybe you're at that point. When you're, you're in your fire, the flame in your heart is very weak. I'm telling you, you can approach Jesus because He promised that He will not snuff out that fire. He will not snuff out that fire. He will send you the fire of the Holy Spirit. He will send you the fire of the Holy Spirit. Just like the Pentecost 2,000 years ago. God still does that. And we will pray tonight. I'm going to pray for every one of you who, who's almost there, who's almost giving up. I'm going to pray that the Lord will renew the fire in you. I pray that the Lord will renew the determination, the, the spirit, the, the zeal in you. God's not done with you yet. If nothing's happening, maybe you're still being cooked. But the good news is, you're going to turn out to be the best person that God wants you to be. Yeah. So I'll invite you to close your eyes and lift your hands to God. If that's comfortable, if not, it's okay. God will hear your prayers even if you don't lift your hands. But this is just an expression of us saying, God, I'm yours. Okay? With your eyes closed and your hands raised, I'm going to pray for you. And I'm going to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is Pentecost Sunday. Thank you, Lord. I want to bring you back. I want to bring you back to the time of Pentecost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In in Joel, I'm going to read you. Okay. Listen, listen. This is God's promise, okay? The, the coming of the Holy Spirit was predicted many, many years before, all right? 
thou hundreds of years before and it says in Joel chapter 3 verse 1 it shall come to pass I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh your sons and daughters will prophesy your old men will dream dreams your young men will see vision even upon your male and female servants in those days I will pour out my spirit Tomorrow we will commemorate and celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. And we can ask the Holy Spirit to come right now and fill our lives. And if we will just believe, it shall happen. Again, with your eyes closed and your hands raised, I'm going to pray for you. Father, I pray for every person in this room. I pray, O oh Lord God, that you give us a new Pentecost. The same Spirit that came 2,000 years ago, O oh Lord, I pray that you grant us a new Pentecost, an outpouring of the Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit be with us. Let the Holy Spirit live in us. Let us have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit guide us. Let the Holy Spirit comfort us. Let the Holy Spirit strengthen us. Let the Holy Spirit push us to do the things that you want us to do. Let the Holy Spirit embrace us when we need embrace. Father, we pray for the Holy Spirit to be on this place right now. Let your Spirit fall. Let your Spirit fall. Let it come like a fire. Oh God, you can do things if you want to. And we pray for your Holy Spirit to come. Come upon every person in this room with their eyes closed and their hands raised. And we receive the Holy Spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit. And we will worship you like we've never done before. And we say, oh Lord God, have your way in our lives. Have your way in us. Your will be done. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Let's worship the Lord. Sing it out. Oh, yeah, boy. 
sing that bridge again and I want you just give it your all let this be your declaration tonight you can bring it out if not you can put your hands over your heart father we pray for all the dreams that you have planted in our hearts we pray for open doors and divine appointments father if our will is aligned with yours father we pray that you just give us the patience to trust in your timing to trust in your process father father remind us that your will is far better than ours Lord May, may you open our eyes to see your working hand in our lives. And may you bless the work of our hands as we strive to work towards our goals, Father. We trust you, Lord. We trust you with our dreams, with our lives, Father. And we claim that all our dreams in your name will come true. Amen. Amen. Say Philippians 
1 verse 6, it says that he who began the good work in you will be faithful to complete it. I want you to believe that. That God who began the good work, the good work in you, will be faithful to complete it in Christ Jesus. Amen? Let's give the Lord one more clap offering. Please be seated. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're going to send you home in a while, but uh, this time we're, we're going to receive your offerings. I'm going to ask you to give your best to God again. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for giving your best. Um, last week was good. We were able to cover uh, our expenses. That's good. And every time that happens, I rejoice. And I want to thank those who give generously. And I just believe that God will continue to make us grow even, even in our giving. That our giving, our generosity should grow. And uh, I want you to ask the question, is your giving the same as your giving three years ago? Or have you grown in your giving? Another question that you should ask yourself is, how do you feel when you think about giving more? <laughs> how do you feel when you think about giving more? Do you, do you say, ay, sobra na yan. Ay, hindi na nila kailangan yan. Ay, hindi na. Or do you think, yes, okay, Lord, I'm going to give more because this is your work, this is your you know, whatever you give, we use for the building of the kingdom. And, uh, you know, we're able to do some good things. We're able to help, um, like uh, father, Father's Appeal, we're able to give and who support. So, um, yeah, give your best all the time, always. All right? So while you're thinking about what to give and how much to give, I'm going to rattle off some announcements and then I'm, we're, we're, we're out of here, okay? I want to see those who are here for the first time. If you're here attending for the first time, can I ask you to stand? Not because you're going to dance, but because we just want to pray for you. We just want to bless you. Okay, so if you're here for the first time, just stand and we're going to bless you. We're going to... Can you, can you uh, extend your hands towards them? All of us here, extend your hands towards them and we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Father, we lift up to you those who are here for the first time. We uh, thank you for bringing them here. And we pray that you bless them mightily, Lord. This coming week, we pray, uh, will be the best week of their lives. And we pray, Lord, that you embrace them and remind them that they're loved more than they will ever understand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome to the feast. Please be seated. If someone invited you to the feast, um, they will invite you to dinner. Huh? He will feed you. Okay? Piliin nyo yung mahal. Alright? Um, next week, we're gonna start a new series again. We're talking about God, uh, uh, God not being in a hurry. And this next, uh, and this next uh, series uh, will be really, really awesome. And it's really gonna be good. We have, a, we have a video. Can we show the video lang of our next series? Next week, we're going to talk about that, how to bring out the best in your season. All right? So invite a friend. We'll take care of the space. Bahala na si Lord. Okay? We invite you to be part of light groups. What are light groups? These are smaller groups, and this is a more intimate group. 
where your victories are multiplied and your defeats and your failures and your sadness, your sorrows are divided, all right? So join a light group. Um, you have those sheets of paper, I think, in uh, your bulletins. Or if not, there's a table outside. Tell them, I want to be part of a light group, okay? We do life together. Yun, so we do life together. We, if you want to be prayed over, go to the back and we will pray over you. Someone will pray for you at the back. And we're inviting you to be part of ministry. If you've been attending the feast for quite some time, please, you have no right sitting there. That chair belongs to someone who is seeking, someone who is longing, someone who needs the love of God. If you've been attending for quite some time, join us here. If you know how to sing or you know how to dance or you know how to say hello, just ask how you can serve. I know and I'm sure that God has given you something that you can share with the world, okay? Follow us on uh, Facebook, The Feast at The Feast SM Aura, on Instagram at Feast SM Aura, and uh, go to Spotify and look at our playlist on Feast Aura, okay? If you lost your shirt, nakalagay dito, lost and found shirt, okay? If you came here and you happened to lose your shirt, I mean, ha, suddenly, go to the back, okay? If you're losing a shirt, go to the back. We found your shirt, okay? Baka para wag kang lamigin. <laughs> How can you lose a shirt? Okay? <laughs> huh? Ah, naka-paper ba? Ah, hindi naman pala niya suot. Okay. Naka-paper naka bag naman. Okay. So that's it. I'm gonna see you next week, alright? We're gonna pray. If you're ready, can you extend your hands towards our screen? Lord, we thank you for all these Thanksgiving prayers. Yeah, once upon a time, they, we were asking and lifting them up to you, Lord, as prayer petitions. But we thank you for passing marks. We thank you, Lord God for friends, and uh, Lord, we thank you for answered prayers. We know that you're in the business of answering prayers. As we together lift up to you these prayer requests from our friends, we pray for a baby for Hansel and Charlotte. Be that done, be done, be done according to your faith. Praying to pass all my pending law subjects. Wow, we have a lawyer in the house. Uh, future lawyer and praying for the prospering of dear friends writing endeavors Lord we pray for every unsaid prayer and said petition every prayer that was left in our hearts and we pray Lord that you look into our hearts and answer these prayers in Jesus name we pray Amen can you lift up your envelopes and we're going to pray for them Lord we lift up to you our, all our love offerings we pray for every person who's going to give may you give back to that person pressed down shaken together and running over and look at our hearts of generosity, Lord God, for we can never outdo you in your generosity. And I pray for blessings in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Before I ask you to put your ba offerings in the basket, I just want to say that coffee is on us. If you, f if you feel like you have some more time, you can join us. There's free coffee at the back. Um, fellowship with us, all right? Um, I'm going to invite you to the give, put your offerings now in the basket. Where are the baskets? Oh, there. So, and um, after this, um, Eric and Isa will close, and then I'll see you next week. All right? So thank you very much. God bless everyone. Let's do this. <laughs> For mine, and it's unrelenting chase. I was on the edge of deception, caught up in my own hesitation until you love to come me. So I